Hey up everyone, Heidi here, the Yorkshire Crafter. Um, I hope you're well on this lovely, lovely, um, yeah, grey chucking down day. Um, yeah, that's all there is to report. It's just grey, wet, miserable. So I thought I'd come up, see what we can get done. I'd like to get a couple done today, but for the last couple of days when I've been trying to do them, Everything's gone in bin. So, this is tried and tested, which helps. So, well, this one is, this one isn't. But it's just the same thing. I'm just going to do it, show you the year, but you can do it on a smaller card as well as a 7 by 5 four and a quarter by five and a half. Right. Before we crack on, just same as normal. If you could all like and share my video, get me out there, get me seen. You wouldn't think I'd say that, you know. I never leave house. And I'm saying get me seen. No chance. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's just crack on, shall we? So we're going Christmassy today. And the stamping's very basic because we're making it more of a... Oh, look. What is there? We're making it... More about the shaker element. So we're just going to crack on. First things first. Get your masks. And I've told you I don't throw out away. I hope they don't bleed onto it. So anywhere in the middle I'm putting you. These are going to be moons, they're not clocks. I would like you to be in the middle though. If you know out about me, you know that I don't measure out. It's all guessing. Um, maybe I should measure, you know. Right, I'm just sticking with it. I can always cut it down if I don't like it. This one I'm going to have right at the top. I'm going to check this one out because we are using... I just want to make sure my stamps fit. We're using it on both. We're doing the exact same thing, but just showing you that you can do it on two different cards and I'm having this one stood up obviously it'd be easier if I had it on the side but I just want to show you different so yep and then I can have me and then I can have me yep that'll work right let's do it so we're just gonna I want to stay away from the moon if possible so I'll just put a little bit around it I mean, we are going to put some blue in it. I just, for now, while I'm just darkening everything else up. In fact, you know what? Let's just do it because it only means getting the ink back out again later. And that's enough there. I'm going to use some um, doo -dee -doo -dee -doo, pan pastels to, or maybe chalk, whichever, just to lighten it up a bit. I think that's all I'm doing for the first colour. Same on both cards. It'd have been better off using my big brush, wouldn't I? I've got I don't know if I've got my light blue one. Is that my light blue? I don't know what blue that's got on it. That feels really thick up to that and it's the same card. Let's put some on and see if it, which colour it puts on. Hey, that's all right. I think actually I need a new, actually, didn't I get one? Just wait a minute, I think I got one. I did. I might get that out if we need it in a minute. I got that one and I got the lime punch because these are the two that I must use the most because they run out. We need re-inkers, Lavinia. Seems a lot to throw away, doesn't it? Right, I think that's as light as I need that to be. We'll give it a go over with this and make it a bit more even. It's 
lovely that isn't it? it covers so quickly i have a few different makes of these this one's your alter new what's that one there this is how often i use them because i forget about them look how dusty that is and that's pink and main I can't get all the pink and main anymore. Where I get all my stamps from, um, uh, you know, the in UK, your American stamps, um, we get them from Bumble Very Crafts. And I, from what I can see, I don't know if it's true, um, but it looks like they're selling it all off. They're not replacing anything, if you know what I mean. None of the new releases have come through. I like a bit of pink and main me, I'm sticking with the same brush. And we're just going to come in a bit darker again. What we're really doing is just doing down the edges and one bit across the middle. It'll all make sense, I promise. See, that must be quite dry and all. I think to be fair I've only ever replaced one of my stamps since I started using Lavinia stuff, one of my inks should I say, and that again was the lime green, lime punch, oh yeah you can see it going on can't you, come a bit further in with this one. Gosh, it does make it a bit easier. I'll concentrate on that middle bit when we do the stamping. Stamping can be done first on that bit, it's not a problem. Oh my God, my muscles are killing. I've only just started. Or should I say my lack of muscles is killing. Wow, look at all that wasted. I'm going to use dark denim. Now this should absolutely darken it up. Now I'm going to be more careful about um, how far it comes in. Got Rosie with me today. She's been very quiet, isn't she? I have to whisper because she's got the most amazing ears. She doesn't miss anything. So on my practice, I don't know what colours I used because I can see my practice from where I'm stood here, and this is different blues but I do like it shouldn't have really come in that far but it is what it is two cards never the same which I like so I'll just do one more I'll do the what is it midnight blue or I may leave it and do that at the end. I definitely want it dark at the edges like this. That's very nice. I really like that. I'm just going to put a bit more in here. Okay. Right, let's do some stamping. so easy to do these so quick uh, 
that. I'm just trying to think, do I need my platform? Um, we will, just in case the first generation doesn't stamp. Take them off, save them again. And just with my light brush, oh no. Oh, I do. Every time you always have to do something. It's okay, I'm all right with it. That's what I meant to do with it. But we're going to stamp This is the moon stamp. By the way, I've been asked a few times now, will I put the um, names of all the stamps that I use in the description box? Well, I can't. I don't know what it is, but every time I put something in the description box, I even stop putting my email address in, you know, for your birthdays, and I stop putting in a Facebook group in, because it kept, failing it had upload the first bit to process it and then when it actually came to uploading the actual video it stopped so no i don't know how to do it i'm really sorry so i'm going to stamp in third i think could even be fourth i'm going to go third here i may go fourth on that one and i'm stamping in twilight yeah i'm really sorry about that i just what I'll try and do is make myself think about um, telling you exactly what stamps I'm using so that we don't get all not bothered which way around it goes. You know, I don't want anybody not knowing what I'm using. And I don't have any affiliate links. I don't get paid for anything that I use. So... I can't even help you that way, I don't know. Right, that's a mess, but it won't be when I've finished. Well, I hope not. See, sometimes when I've practised, it's the ones that I've done on practice that turn out better. It's crazy. Three. I think maybe I should have done it in a different colour then, but it's okay. That's better. Although I haven't got it on the circle, it's okay. That's all I wanted. Let's clear that off. Has everybody finished the calendars? I am absolutely in panic. But also while I'm in panic, I just sit there downstairs thinking about them and don't even attempt to do them. They freak me out a bit, I think. Took me all my time to do one. Just to... Um, you know, to start it. And then now I've started it, it absolutely petrifies me. And it's easy with this, isn't it? You can throw it away. And I don't want to be... I don't want to put a piece of card in it. Do you know what I mean? If I'm going to do it, I want to do it to the. I don't know if that's right. Can you see that? I'm not going to use that. Yeah, I don't want it. I want it all to just be to the paper. I want it to look professional, if you like. I don't like that. There's me. Pull me chalk. I don't even know where my chalk is, I thought I'd left it out. Oh no, I don't have another one either. I left it out on purpose. Oh, 
Oh, everything else is where I left it. I'm sorry. Just give me one second. I've seen it this morning. I found it. And you had seen it. Yeah, I just want to... That's better. I can see that. I'm trying to make my moon look a bit... Um, better than it did. And I'll be bringing some more colour into it yet anyway. Can you see that? I'm all right with that. Bit on this side. It doesn't have to give it that glory out moan. And this is why I need the platform because when I stamp the trees on it now, they don't like stamping on top of chalk. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better already. That will do. <laughs> Right. Yep, happy with that. So let's come in with trees. Where have I put them now? So the first one we're stamping is the, it's not the Three Kings at all. It is, this is me, I'm such a scruffy worker. It is Christmas Tree Group. Oh, way up. I can hear Lexi barking, so she's going to want to come up. Rosie's herder as well. She'll be up in a minute. I don't think that's level, is it? It's really hard when I can't stick my head under because I don't want you to see my scruffy head. Well, I won't be able to anyway because it, it's there and I'm too old to bend down. Rosie, go and lie down. She'll come up in a minute. Backing her head off. I can't see if it's straight. Oh, I'm going with it. So we're going in with black. They do look nice done in, tw in twilight, but when I, I think when you've done a lot of blue, the black just, it needs the black to set it off. Yeah, I'm good with that. All the others I'm going to do, just stamp. You will like this when it's finished, I promise. I should have measured that, shouldn't I? I bet that's not central. Nah, Mila. Right, I'll only get one chance with this because it's wet or damp. I'm going to come up here. That will do. Again, because I've used the chalk, I think it needs... Oh, he's telling her off. I don't know what she's after. I can hear Andy telling Lexi off. He doesn't like being woken up. Look at that. It took straight away. That's Brilliant. I could have done it by hand. But you know what would have happened, don't you? It wouldn't have worked. Right, let's get rid of this platform. Rosie, I stood on you. Go and lie down, baby. She'll be up in a minute. Right. So the trees I'm going to be using are small fairy fir tree, fairy fir tree, these are sets, I'm just going to get all three out and I'm also going to use the red pine, I'll get small and large out because I don't know which I'll be using and possibly pipping on the small one here, I don't know yet. But I'll get him out and then they're all out then. 
Right, let's stamp. Might as well do them both at the same time while I'm doing them. Now then, do I need my bigger platform because... No, that'll take it. That's fine. Again, just going black, not turn. Not bothered about them being perfect, so just stamp away. Obviously, there'll be less on this. Oh, that's crisp. There'll be less on this uh, on this size card, so I will be mindful, as Joe would say, to what I'm going to be putting up here. I'm only going to put two of them on. Them again. I might not use small one because I do put some other trees in front of it, so... Very crisp. I oh, can see where chalk's caught there a bit. That's all right. We're going to put um, snow splatter on anywhere, just with Posca. Told you it was a nice, easy one to stamp out. That's it for that. Yeah, probably, I'm not going to put the small one on. It would probably get lost in... I think I'm going to... Might come in with a big one. Yeah, I'll do one either side with the big one. All in the same colour. Now, if you have the patience which I don't, and you want to do snow on the leaves, it would be an absolute phenomenal picture. I don't have the patience. All the time. Do you know, I'm one of them people. That has a lot of fluff on it. Um, I would normally have my Christmas shopping done by now. When kids were at home, I used to shop through, yeah, even when they were at home as adults, I'd shop through, yeah. And then just, when coming near Christmas, I'd ask them what they wanted as a main present. And now, I just, I'm stuck. I just absolutely do not know. Now then, wait a minute. I do not know what to get them, what to do, so no, I am absolutely miles behind. Now then, I'll get that bigger one back. I may just put one in. Let's put one in. Yeah, so... How many of you have done your shopping finished? Do you know, I loved it. I used to love shopping, but I hated wrapping. Hated it with a passion. And then all kids would say, will you wrap this for me for Grandma? Would you wrap this for me for Granddad? Nightmare. Don't have to do that anymore. And to be fair, I don't have many to buy for now. I've got four grandkids. Um, obviously, my two kids and their um, partners. And my sister. And Amber. And fur babies, of course. But that's it. I don't... Um, God, I used to buy for everybody. 
That's probably why I've shopped all through here. Yeah, what a mare. What an absolute mare. Is that looking all right, do you think? It's a bit, bit crowded. Now then, so I think I am just going to put... Let's finish this one off. So I've sort of done it symmetrical if you like, haven't I? Um, let's go. Let's go there. What do you think, guys? Where's Pippin? Now then, because we're going to have the front on it. Let me just get the front for this. I want you to be able to see Pippin. Hmm, actually, I don't think Pippin's going to look right in this scene. No, let's just make it about the trees, which is what the original one was. So, maybe a... That's pretty much done. You'll understand why. We've got to do some more colour in it yet. I quite like it. Take that one off a minute. Right, we did the big one. Where was the next one? We'll do the smaller one. Let's have you coming up. There, I think that will look nice at the side of them trees. Yeah, once I've put a bit of blue through here, rather than it just standing on white, make it look a bit more dense, it'll look nice. Hmm. I'm going to put one bit up here. Same other side. Oh, my hands are black. They better be clean for this next bit. Right. And then I'm just going to use the, am I just going to use this one? I've got another couple here. I've got the fir tree one and, oh no, these are still part of the fir tree. These are what I call, I have these um, put away saying all my Christmas trees. So that's that's how I um, identify these. I just call them all my Christmas trees. I have a section for Christmas just in Lavinia. All my Lavinia is separate from all my other mates. It's like all my spellbinders and everything. It's all stacked away in um, themes like flowers and butterflies and things like that so but my Lavinia I've got one section called scary so that's me my witches and my dragons and 
things. And then I've just got the normal, your foliage, your flowers. I kept the steampunk separate because I had no idea how you would um, store that. Right, this is the last one. And do you know what? I'm happy with that. This does seem a little bit wasted. It does on the um, original and all. But when I've shown it to my trusted family and friends, they, they're all told me to leave it. So I am leaving it. Right, I'm just going to wipe my hands with clean wipes. Because I'm going to do a, a clean job. So let's get rid of this. I'm just going to give them a blast a minute. Because I'm going to put a bit more ink around it. I don't want to smudge the black. And I can even see that it's still wet. That's an old piece of paper. I ain't used that for a while. Oh, I've got your cups. Okay. Let me just swap these away, otherwise I'm going to get them all mixed up. He's the one that I lose constantly. Right, everything's away. So we're just going to come in with a bit more ink. I think I'm going to use my brush this time to bring it in a bit. That's my dark. That's my light. You only need a little bit because you've got the majority of your ink down. So this is now just to make it where you think the rest of the colour should be. You know, around your moon and I 100% know that it needs to come through here. See, this one's nowhere near as dark. It definitely needs darkening up. It also feels like that moon is nowhere near central. Doesn't matter now. I don't know that the Della Blue will make much difference, to be honest. Yeah, it does there. It's here where I need it to show. Yeah, that's better. Ah, oh, that's perfect. That's a belting shadow underneath it.
There we go. I mean, I I have to put my colour down first, otherwise I lose where I want things to be. But if you're happy to do all your stamping first, it's like somebody asked in the in our Facebook group the other day, which do you do first? Your stamping or your background? Well, it always depends for me what kind of card I'm doing. But this one, I couldn't have stamped it first. I, I would have lost where I'm supposed to be. So no, it wouldn't have worked for me. I want that to be a little bit. Just a bit bright around here. Hmm, ideally I'd like to have stamped that again, but you're not going to see it. Well, yeah. A little bit darker again. Put a little bit in here. Then we're more or less ready just to put it together. And that's the easy bit. She says. I'm not going to put any more on them. I think they look quite dark enough, don't they? Right, let's do it. Just get me. I'm just using a bit of twilight and I'm just knocking it off just to give that a definite under tree shadow if you like yeah that looks better a lot better and we'll have a few this is where I want to put pippin inks and you're all going to do couple of snowy bits Yeah, they look all right, don't they? Oh, 
I like that. I think that looks absolutely fine. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to do it every single time. Why do you do it, Ida? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's put some more in. It's cool. Move that mark that's there. Right, there we go. I'm not putting any more in. That looks pretty cool, though, doesn't it? Put a couple in this one. Let's do the Try not to put any more ink on my brush. I don't think you really need it, do you? I've said that and now I'm going to put some ink on my brush. Ah, I like that. Now that looks like it is buried in the... Oh, that's a bit, way better look. Oh, doesn't that look better? Absolutely. Kind of like that. That will do. I am just going to do the same across there because I thought that looked quite nice. Definitely. Oh, I've got a right itchy back. That's done, that's done. Right, guys. So, let's put them together. First of all, we're going to splatter. Because I need this to dry. I could have done with putting some more white off the moon, but I'm looking at the time. This is what I mean by it could hide a lot of mistakes. So that's not look good. I've actually seen quite a few people do the snow, but the person that impresses me much so better at most with that snow is Lena. You'll know Lena. Everybody knows Lena. A very talented lady. Right, that one's done. I need it to dry. I don't think there's a lot left in this. I don't know, that small one, I don't know if I want to make it into a shaker now because I absolutely love how it's come out. Just use acrylic paint, which probably would have been quicker, less noisy. Right, it's going on my shopping list. I need a new one. 
it's not coming out properly oh look at that now it is oh absolutely now it is <laughs> just pick it all up off my paper right that'll do sorry about the banging 100% need that to dry as soon as possible I'm going to have to help it on because I need to put some we're going to use some heat resistant acetate You don't have to, but I'm going to put the sentiment on the acetate directly onto it. So I need to be able to put it on the paper to see where the sentiment's going. So effective on its own is that little one. Right then. So that's for the big one. I already cut the pieces out. So what I've done is I cut between four and five blanks out. I probably won't probably just put four. My acetate will go in the middle. I used infinity dies and put two together. Miss the middle, miss the middle one out in between, and that's how I cut them all. So that's how I did that. Right, because I know how I'm doing the big one, I'm going to. Now this is how I stop static. Wet my acetate with a baby wipe. Dry it. It also cleans it with my kitchen towel. I'm also going to anti-static it. I can't even see the result coming out. I'll show you my acetate, wait a minute. I've just cut these to size ready so you won't have to bother. This is what I use. Now I've got this out, that's the one I'm using at the moment. I've got it out to see if they were a make. GG product. And I got mine off um, Amazon. Transparent heat resistant acetate, ideal for stamping, embossing. A4, 100 micron means nothing to me, and you get 10 sheets. I've got about three packs, and it's very, very rare I use it. So, right, so I'm using Simon Says Stamps Merry Christmas. I'm going to use my first mark. I'm getting one chance to stamp it because I don't want to put it in my platform. And for this card, I literally want it just in the middle. And I don't know about the small one yet. That's why I'm going with this one because I knew what I wanted to do with it. So I literally, I'm guessing either side. And Anywhere there will do. Now for this one, I'm using a Metallic Platinum Sparkle. Wow, got that from Lavinia. Right, 
Right. I hope it's worked. Oh. I want to get all off that. Shouldn't be there. I'm all right with that. It is a bit extra. It's I'm not messing and she says getting a brush out. I don't want it to. Just want that bit out of there. That'll do. So I'm just going to put that one to the side a minute. We might as well stamp the other one while we're at it. Then we can do them both at the same time then. I love this embossing powder. I think it's quite amazing. And for the next one, we're using um, just silver sterling by Brutus Monroe. So I'm going to use the stamp. Where's my other stamp? Oh, yeah. Put this one away. This one I'm going to use Merry Christmas or Merry Holiday Sparkle. Let's have a look. And this is Catherine Pooler, Merry Sentiments. So I'm trying my best to tell you because it's going to go like that. Do I want it? I'm going to put it nearer the bottom. Um, yeah, let's put it on. Let's have a look. There are on my trees, and then you can see the glitter down here. There. I'm going in the middle. So I want the other piece of acetate. Move that, it's got the other, uh, other stuff on it. Give it a wipe. I'm so sorry about the time, guys. It'd be worth it, honestly. And if it have only been doing one, you know how quick it would have been then. They're so pretty done, these cards. So pretty. I don't know why that's still there. Right, let's just do it. I can't see if it's coming out on acetate. So let's turn it around that way. I'm using uh, that's my pad again. I said I was going to go about middle, didn't I? So let's go. Let's go up a little bit. I can't see if it's straight. Oh, we're going for it. I can always do it again. I've got plenty of acetate. Looks okay. You'll see, you'll have seen, look, I mean, I've hardly got any left. I use this one a lot, an awful lot. And the reason I'm not having this one sparkle is because I chose to have the edging dull, in a dull silver. I don't know what that mark is there. 
That looks pretty good, doesn't it? If you can see it. Right, let's clean this up. We'll heat these up and then we'll put them on the cards. And then we're done. Try to pick them up with that one. Can you see that? Oh, you can see it on there. Perfect, can't you? The only thing I say is just keep your, even though it's heat resistant, just keep your heat moving. It does take their heat, I would say it does take it quite quickly. There you go, that's done already. Oh, I can feel that, like the acetate sort of melting then. It's warm, it's warm, it's warm. Ow! I think that's it. I just one bit on this side. There you go. Look how sparkly it is. Can you see the glitter? And then you have the dull one. What I did do, because I didn't know how I was going to do it, I also did some on um, vellum. And that's colour changing, that one. So, And I did some gold, because I didn't know if I was doing it in gold. Gold glitter. The vellum. So these will all get used for different things. Oh, I see I had one done. I could use that. I just thought I'd show you then. Right, let's glue the bits together and get them on. First things first. Let's get it on its base. I don't want to start moving it once I've got the shaker bits in. When I made this one the other day, the bigger one, I'm so impatient I shook it and everything fell out because I didn't give it a chance to dry. And I hadn't pushed it down properly. That's not even on straight, is it? Don't ruin it now. Is that straight? Nope, it's not straight at the top, but it'll do because I can cut that down. I'd rather do that instead of messing with it all the time. Same with this. You can glue them down if you want, but this is easy to move. These Gina K tape runners, I think they're absolutely belting. So I've made my base. Please fit. Actually, I've made it a little bit too big, so that's fine. It can be cut down. Not just a little bit too big, it's huge, isn't it? Tell you what. I'm going to cut that down first because that's why. Two seconds, guys. I'll use my new cutter, Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Now then, I've probably cut too much off, but I'd rather be able to, oh dear, cut loads off. Let's get it on and then, let's get it on. Why is it not fitting? What am I doing wrong? Right, 
Wow, I've got loads of fat on. I'll just trim that off a little bit. Sorry about that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Right. So for the big one, I'm going to do four. So I'm just going to glue four of these together. Oh, look at the time. I'm so sorry. I'll do this one and I'll finish the other one offline, but I want you to see me put the, the stuff in. If you know what I mean. I'm sure you know what I mean. Right. I made that look a bit awkward then, didn't I? Why is that not fitting mine? It is, it is, it is. Put another one on there. Because I did the glitter, uh, glitter embossing on this one, I'm using a glitter um frame and the other one let's say i'm using a dull frame so this is the last one we'll put the acetate on Normally I have these bits ready so you don't have to watch me do it, but hey -ho. My hands are all sticky. Right, now we're going to put the acetate on. Which is here. I, told, I cut these down to size already, so... But I want to, that's very dusty now. That should just wipe straight off. That's better. That's a lot better. So I'll stick that on top of there. I don't normally have them very cut to size, you know, I'm lying if I say I do. Because, like the mothers that I've done, they're all too big for these frames. So once I've stuck them down, I just go around edges and cut them off. Slide in that off. Right, there you go. See, I didn't cut it right because it's still too big. Ideally, put some on top of it and let it just wait, but we're not going to. So, yeah, look, my acetate's not sticking. Oh, come on. What I'll do is I'll show you the other one because it's... It's already so long. This needs some putting on top of it. And all I do, sprinkle the bits into the middle. And then once the frame top has gone on, then I'll glue that down on there. And it just sits perfect there. And all your little things are down here. So this is what you will get. I put glitter in this one actually. I used um 
I used as a dialographic glitter. I thought it looked pretty cool. So that's it. That's your card finished. And that's what I'll go and do with this one now. I don't know why they're sticking up there. Oh, there you go. There you go. I hope you like it. The idea is amazing. I love them. And I love this. Right, I'm going to go, guys. I'll finish this off. Oh, look at that. I've just dropped on the glitter now. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.